I've seen the future, ladies and gentlemen. And I brought it with me to show to you. I was at the Philadelphia Fair this past year. A fellow named Edison had this invention. It's an electric lamp. Soon they'll be everywhere. Now they're gonna light whole cities with this thing. And you won't have to go to bed with the chickens anymore. Oh. Oh. How's it do that? Well, I'm not real sure myself. But I do know this much. This electricity travels on copper wire. So do telegraph signals. The next few years, the demand for copper is going to go up. And prices will go up. Now, we'd like to mine this site. Establish a smelting plant right along here. And that's it, folks. It's pretty simple. You grant Sierra Copper the mineral rights and we'll return a handsome royalty to this community. Create new jobs and help move America into the new century. I'll be uh, having a sale on oil lamps starting tomorrow, if anybody's interested. <laughs> I'm for it. Go on and vote. <clears throat> Not just yet, please. I think it's a good idea, Mr. Sully. Ah, oh, we don't need to hear what you have to say, Sully. We know how you feel. We're a state. We got more people coming here looking for work. Right. Don't you think it would be a good idea for the town, Sully? Well, it all depends on what town you're talking about, Miss Dorothy. Now, see, my problem with this is your mine is too close to this river. The tailings could poison all the drinking water for the towns all along here. I can assure you that ain't gonna happen. Sierra Copper will take every precaution. Well, that may be so, Mr. Garrick. But until I'm satisfied that your company's got some kind of plan to keep that from happening, I can't vote in your favor. And I don't think the other members of the board here would want to be responsible for poisoning their neighbors. All those in favor? I'm sorry, Mr. Garrick. The request's been denied. Next petitioner is the uh, Williams Land Company. How long have they been there? Speak up, Evan. Two days. What ever possessed you to put beans up your nose? Jimmy dared me. I suppose if he dared you to jump off a roof, you'd do that too. How high is the roof? It's all right, Mr. Sobs. I don't think there's been any permanent damage. Okay, will you get me a basin, please, Mama? Oh, I can't use an instrument to remove them. Might push them further up the nasal passage. And surgery's out of the question. Thank you, Katie. Are you just going to leave them there? No. Oh, no, they might take root. That's why it's not a good idea to do this anymore. Not unless you want to have beans growing out of your ears. Right, Evan? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Do you hold this just under his chin? What's that stuff? The Latin for it is Piper Nigrum. Close your eyes, and I'll close your mouth. <laughs> White pepper. <laughs> Mr. Sully, could I have a word with you? I appreciate your concern to try to preserve your natural resources, but it might be to your advantage to change your vote. Well, why is that? Well, smart men make money even in the bad times. Huh? Carnegie buying up steel, Rockefeller buying up the oil. Opportunities for a man to make his own fortunes everywhere. Now, the men I work for take care of somebody that could share their vision of the future. I see what you're saying? Make your crow rich, huh? Exactly. Well, it's too bad you and I don't share the same vision, Mr. Garrick. Hmm. It's a pity. For those that stand in the way of the inevitable almost always suffer dire consequences. I apologize for the lateness of my letter, but Andrew and I only received the news the day before we were to sail for the States. 
We'll celebrate your birthday upon our return this summer. I miss you terribly, Ma. All my love, Colleen. Oh, well, that's too bad. Matthew's not coming either. Oh, Grace, you can't expect children to be here for every birthday. Why not? Afternoon, Grace. Oh, Sally. Want some coffee? Love some. And uh, some pie, too, please? Hmm. What's this? It's a birthday present. Get him for being born. Oh, it's a very nice box. Thank you. There's something inside. Oh, I don't Sully, it's beautiful. She reminded me of you. It's not as pretty, though. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Stop acting like you're not married. <laughs> Huh? You know those seeds we were talking about? Yeah. How many are gonna show up? About 40, I think. Well, that's more than I was expecting. It's a very uh, popular variety. I'll have to get a bigger pot. Mm -hmm. Colleen and Andrew won't be able to return until the summer. The hospital's asked them to stay longer. It's too bad they can't make it. I'm awfully proud, though. My daughter's taking care of the queen. Well, she's working with the royal physicians. She's only met the queen once. I'll give her some time. Let's see how this looks on. No surprises, right? Uh, oh, surprises? Just... We get all dressed up, have a little mm -hmm. nice dinner at home, and uh, maybe after the kids go to bed, roll up the rug and do some dancing. And how many dances should I save for you, Mr. Sun? All of them. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy gave this to me, isn't it pretty? It's real pretty. <laughs> Magnifico! <laughs> <laughs> that was wonderful, Juanita. Oh, oh my goodness. Mm. Uh, Pardona me. Just one second, darling. Mr. Caraway, I'm sorry. I couldn't talk Sully into changing his vote. Well, that leaves me no choice. What are you going to do? That's not your concern, Mr. Garrick. Just wait for me in town. You'll get paid tonight. Juanita, ¿le vas a bailar a papá de nuevo? Why'd you go and do that for? He was cheating me. He always cheats you. <laughs> well, not anymore. You, you, you deal. Look at this. The bullet's over here. Ted, you ain't shot. He missed. Ain't hey, dead? <laughs> Night's still young. Take yourself on home before he sobers up. Come on, boys. Let me get him up. Violence. The last resort of desperate men. Not my style. You here long? Taking him on the stage. You, uh, want a little company while you're here? <laughs> Unfortunately, I have other business. I need to settle up with these men.
Taste this. Mm. It's good soup, Ryan. It's gravy. That's gravy? Sure go into a lot of trouble for a surprise party. Party? Are you having a party for me? Can you keep a secret, Katie? No. <laughs> well, you're gonna have to. You can't tell your mom about this party. Hmm? You've got to keep a secret. That's right. Can you help me? Shove it. Can you keep a secret, Annie? you dance steps before dinner? I called you because Colleen's not here to help me and I need you to lace me up. What? I was just remembering the first time I saw you in a suit. I was just remembering the first time I helped you out of this rig. As I recall, I believe bandage scissors were involved. As I recall, that was your idea. Well, thank heavens for my medical training. Done. Sully, do you think I'm... I think you're the most beautiful woman in the world. Always will be. <laughs> it's not polite. Come in, Katie. I'm gonna go check in dinner. <clears throat> Good night, beautiful. Good night, puppy. Oh, that's enough. Why aren't you in bed? I'm not tired. That's a beautiful dress, Mommy. It's a present from your grandmother in Boston. Where's Boston? Boston? Well, it's a long way away from Colorado Springs. Someday soon I'll take you there. All right, little lady. It's bedtime for you. Can I sleep in here? Katie! Please. All right. And did you say your prayers? Twice. I love you. I love you. Good night, my darling. Good night. Champagne? Champagne? Lauren said it came all the way from Paris. Well then, merci. Sure, I'm glad you were born. Dr. Mike! Dr. Mike! Sounds like horse. Horse? <sighs> oh, I'm sorry to bother you now, but Robert E's taken sick. What's wrong with him? He's got a bad pain in his side. Which side? Uh, uh, uh here. Are you certain? Oh, oh, yeah. Well, it could be a stomachache, but if the pain's localized on the right side, it could be his appendix. All right, I'll hitch the wagon. I'll get my bag. Uh, Dr. Mike? Uh, uh, Dr. Mike, over here. Uh, uh, how long has it been this way? A couple hours. It was the chicken. Nothing's uh, wrong with that chicken. Robert, he tried to relax. The Robert chicken was fine. Well, then how come I'm sick, huh? You should poison me. When I want to poison you, I won't do it with no chicken. It was spoiled. That's it. Man, you got on my last nerves now. Come here, come here, come here. My chicken's back. Boy. My chicken's back. 
Now take a look at this pot and you tell me what you think. much. <laughs> Happy birthday. I'll take care of you later. I hope so. Happy birthday, Paul. Who's looking after Katie? Horace. He's been missing his little girl, so he was happy to babysit. Shall we dance? I would love to. Anybody else who wants to help? Sully. We'll find her. I swear to God, we'll find her. Oh, God. Lawrence, you're bleeding. Here, Mr. Bray. Thank you, Edgar. This shot is for you, lad. You're going to need it. It's the latest thing. Who would do such a thing? Whoever they were, they didn't want to hurt her. They took warm clothes and some of her dolls. Was there a ransom note? Nothing. I'm sure she's all right. She's a smart little girl. I just don't know what I'd do with Michaela, we are going to find her. Now, I'm going to print up some flyers this morning and send them out. They're back. Did you find anything else? No, but we're sure there were two horses. Except we didn't know which one Katie was on, so we're going to have to split up. Brian, you take the one that headed east with Jake. The rest of us will go south. We're gonna ride in half an hour. Well, what about me? You'd be better off just sending telegrams. Towns, army posts. Someone's got to have seen her. I need to clean that cut. Why don't you come inside? I'll, I'll be there in a minute. Lauren Bryan's not gonna need that gun. Why not? Because he knows how I feel. But it's my sister out there. There are more than enough men with guns, please. I'm not a boy anymore. I'm keeping it. Dr. Mike, I'm so sorry. It's not your fault. But I... No one blames you worse. I, I would have tried to stop him. I know. Came through here about seven hours ago. 
What are you thinking? Kitty's not on this horse. How can you be sure? Because the man riding that horse stopped two times. I haven't seen one of Kitty's footprints. You keep tracking him. I'm gonna go find Mr. Garrick. Who's that? Man from the mining company. He wanted me to change my vote. He said something to me. He threatened you? He said something about dire consequences. Well, why didn't you tell me? Because people say things all the time, Michaela. They've said worse to you. He's gonna be on the morning stage. If I go now, I can catch him outside of Soda Springs. I'll see you back in town. Let's go. Somebody in there I gotta talk to. Oh. I leave him alone, mister. He kidnapped my daughter. I did nothing of the kind. Well, she's not with us now. Well, if he didn't take her, he knows who did. <laughs> my daughter was stolen from my house last night. Her name's Katie. She's four years old. I swear to God, I don't know anything about that. They sent me here to close a deal. That's all. Who hired you? I was hired by a male. Supposed to meet Mr. Carraway when I was done. Yeah, where is he? He was camping outside of town last night when he paid me. He rode off with two other men. Please, I got kids of my own. I swear I don't know anything about this. Drop that knife and raise your hands, mister. It's all right. It's just a misunderstanding. Yeah. I'm sorry. Looks like they've taken things in their own hands. I warned you. You tell him I'll change my vote. I just want my daughter back. I don't know who to tell. They contacted me. If I hear anything, I'll let you know. I promise. Can you tell me what he looks like? Middle age. Uh, blonde. Fit. Rich. I'm sorry, Mr. Sully. Cloud dancing. Is this how you treat a brother? <laughs> what are you doing here? I thought you were in Montana. I was. The spirits told me to come back. What for? I don't know. 
They said you'd tell me. Sure, this is the way? They say it is. Look, something flashed. You see it over there? Looks like they came through here about two weeks ago. Animals really got to them. No, oh, it's Annie. It's Katie's doll, Annie. Are you sure? Life holds a potential meaning, even under the worst conditions. If there is a meaning in life, then suffering must have a meaning as well. It's in our nature as human beings to ask why we've been singled out for such a tragic loss. We want to know why. As if there was one reason that could bring us comfort. I can only tell you from my own experience that one day you will discover that reason. But until that day comes, take comfort in the truth that God never gives us more than we can handle. Will you all please join me? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Next week, I thought maybe you'd like to come with me. I'm very busy at the clinic right now. I talked to Dr. Nelson. He said uh, he's going to be visiting his sister. He'd be happy to cover for you. I was hoping we could stay at that new hotel. child died before. I'm sorry she's gone, Michaela. But the sooner we accept this, the sooner we can move on with our lives. It's been a month, and now it's the proper time to move on as if nothing ever happened. That's not what I meant. So now we receive guests in our home, we entertain, we even dance again? Stop it. Stop it. I gotta be reminded of this every birthday for the rest of my life. How can I stop that? It's not your fault. How could anybody know it was gonna happen? Blame me, you go right ahead. I do. 
Why didn't you tell us there was a threat to our family? Because it didn't sound like one at the time. Dire consequences doesn't sound like a threat. How many times have you risked your life and put the family's life on the line? I've always told you when I knew. What about when you didn't know? Are you going to stop treating epidemics because you might infect your family? You have said and done things that have made people mad at you from Colorado Springs all the way to Washington. Wasn't my daughter's life worth a mountain of copper? You are blaming me for the same stand that you took once. Remember, you dragged me along, nearly got us both killed. But that was us, Sonny. That wasn't my child. I am sorry, Michaela. What the hell else do you want me to say? If you had done what I asked, I would never have lost her. You're not the only one who lost a daughter here. And in case you don't remember, I've been through this before. give you your life. Now you give me help. I'll try to get some more rest and I'll see you next week. Jake! Again! Help me! It's Claude dancing. Came to the house. Come on. Get him inside. Michaela. Cloud Dancing found out something from an Apache war party. There were two girls in that wagon. The young girl looked just like Katie who was taken across the border by a Spanish woman. They met on the other side of the river by Federales. I'm gonna do an autopsy. I need to find out. What does he want me to do? I've prepared a surgical field. I need you to shave the hair from this area. What is it you're looking for? Katie had a mild case of stenosis. Bone plates in the skull push against each other, creating a ridge. Her hair always covered it. How can you tell with everything so messed up? looks different from a recent fracture. Taking so long. Only been half an hour. Just gotta be sure, Brian. Just gotta be sure. It's not Katie. Thank God. Then she's still alive. We'll leave in the morning. Dr. Mark. Thank you, Jake. Come on, Brian, we're gonna need supplies. Sully. I'm so sorry. No, 
I'm sorry. You should be resting. I am strong, and the spirits told me to help you. But you have by showing us where to look. And now, I will help find. Thank you. I want to make Scott's candy by tomorrow night. I was pushing these horses. Here, lad. Take these lemon drops. Katie likes them. Thanks, Lord. Well, that should be everything. I'll see you in a couple weeks. Wire me from El Paso. I'll put an article in the paper when you find her. And you will find her. Thanks, Miss Dorothy. You mind if I ride along? I'd like that very much. God be with all of you. I'll be back. All right, everybody, let's move out. I'd like to go with you, if it's all right with you and Sally. I'd be glad to have you, horse. Thanks, Sally. So that's really Mexico over there. Yep. This is where the river's shallow. It's easy, it won't take long. Patchy said they crossed the river right about here. There's two villages on this road. We can split up and look there first. Why would they have been met by soldiers? Someone's well connected. There are many Americans doing business down here. You can get anything for the right money. All right, time to go. Make sure everything's tied down before we hit the water. Who are they? Federales. Are those the ones the Apache saw? Could be. Alto! Hello! Buenos dias, Captain. Uh, venemos... I speak English. I am Captain Ruiz. May I ask, what are you doing in our country? We're looking for our daughter, Katie. She was taken from our home six weeks ago. Miguel. We've been looking for hey, her Capitan. since. We followed her trail here. We were told that the woman who took her was met by some soldiers. Might be traveling with a man by the name of Caraway. I have not seen a woman, this child or this man. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Hey, those are my cigars. And uh, I, I hope you enjoy them. I thank you for your generous gift. And in return, I shall give you some valuable advice. The road from here south is dangerous to travel, especially for beautiful women. Bandits have been robbing innocent peasants, spreading lies about the government of His Excellency General Diaz. If you go forward, you do so at your own risk. We've gone this far, we're not going back. As you wish, senora. God be with you. Vámonos. Ya, vamos.
right, let's split up here. Talk to anybody you can, show them the photo if you have to. Anybody knows anything, bring them back here to this cantina and wait for us. What about the reward? Tell them half now, half when we get her. Let's go. Whoa. Check the cantina. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Pásenle, pásenle. Aquí, por favor, siéntense. Tienen hambre, eh? If you're hungry, I only have rice and beans. The federales were here this morning. Whatever you got will be fine. Rafaela, una de frijoles. We're looking for our daughter. Have you seen her? Oh, she's beautiful. No, I haven't. You know Mr. Caraway? White man? He might live around here? No, senor. It's a $500 reward in gold for the man who leads us to her. I've not seen her, but there was a man in here one night who spoke of a white child. What was his name? Ah, forget. Uh, there's so many people who come here searching for something, I, I forget their names. This will help you remember. I'm sure it will. Senor? Can we trust them? Who knows? Diaz has been selling off pieces of his country to foreign investors, some from the States. And kicking the peasants off the land, building big ranches. Using soldiers to keep everyone in line. Doesn't sound like Diaz is ruling the country. There's a group of men called the Centificos. They run things now. Senor, the man you want to speak to is in Nogales. On business. We'll return tomorrow. His name is uh, Salvador Juarez. Thank you. Any rooms for rent in this town? I think you will find it more peaceful to sleep under the stars rather than to try to find a place to rest in our poor village. Gracias. Gracias, señor. Señora. We're meeting with him tomorrow night. You did better than we did. It's hard to get people to talk. They talked to me. I just couldn't understand them. It wasn't that long ago we took Texas away from them. I'm into Texas. If they can have it back. Did the man say he actually saw Katie? They were talking about a girl like her. That's all I know. It's getting late, folks. We best turn in. We've got a busy day tomorrow. All right. Sally, I'll take the first watch. I got first watch. Good. Because I want to sleep. I will make you some hot chocolate, yeah? I want to go home. I want my mommy and poppy.
Jesus. Ma! Ma, we got Ma dancing! Already! Get up, Boris! Get up! Dr. Mike. Oh, Brian. Brian. Uh, you all right? Yeah. Do I dance and get my bag? Go back to town and keep talking to people. And if nothing comes of it? We'll split up, keep looking, meet back here in a week. What about these men? If anybody asks, just say we found them dead on the trail and buried them. You'll have to change the bandage again tomorrow. And when you get to El Paso, I want you to see a doctor. I don't want you to get infected. I don't see why I have to go. Brian, you've been shot. You could have been killed. I will take him. It's just a nick. I'm still your mother. You're going home. I should stay. You need all the help you can get. What I need is to not lose another child. Señor, por favor. Estamos buscando a esta niña? No, no, señor. I don't think she's here. Maybe it's time we move on. Not yet. I have a feeling we should give this one more day. Someone must have seen our little girl. We'll talk to Federalis. Senor, por favor. It's a two-day ride from here. If they head in south. You want to eat that? No, help yourself. You know they make this out of cactus? Better take it easy on that stuff, Horace. Did anyone say anything about a missing bartender? No. You know what I find interesting? There's no dogs or cats in this town. She's here. Who told you? I was just talking to this woman. Did she see Katie? Ben Harris works at this hacienda. It's owned by an Anglo named Caraway, who has a Mexican wife. Now, she came home with a white child Katie's age a couple of months ago. Where's the hacienda? It's a few miles from here. What are we waiting for? We can't go barging in. Katie could get hurt. Robert and I will ride out there at first light. We'll take a look around and figure out what we're going to do. I think it's best for the rest of you to just stay here, lay low, and keep an eye on things. Who knows, Katie could come back to town with that woman. Did she say Katie was all right? Senor. <clears throat> Look just fine.
You should use this to cleanse his wound. Here. May I take a look at his foot? I I'm a doctor. Wait, just a moment. My name is Michaela. El Doctor? What's your name? Su nombre. Miguel. Ah, Miguel. Now let's take a look at this. For God's sake, Horace, just play a damn card. Any card. What's your hurry? I quit. Oh, no. It doesn't look too bad. Here. I'd like you to make this into a tea. Do you understand? A tea? <laughs> oh, see. Dr. Mike, can we talk to you? I'll just be a moment. You uh, think this is smart, attracting all this attention? Sally told us to lay low. Well, I can't just sit here and wait. I've got to do something. Well, at least you can move out of the middle of the street. Can't see her from here. Let me get closer. Take this when you have pain. It should help. They say you're a doctor. Is this true? Yes. Well, this, she's a woman. I, a very beautiful woman. He's been drinking. Moquito, just a little. It helps. You've been shot. I, yes. You see, she is a doctor. The bullet's still inside. Can you take it out? Now? So, you know, we're gonna stay long. There are men looking for us. Yeah, they would like to shoot me again. What did you do? You think I'm a bank robber? Huh? A bandit? Well, I, I'm sorry, I, I didn't... Uh, he talks too much. Some men are afraid of words. Uh, Senora, can you help him? I, I don't have... I, I don't have anything for the pain. <sighs> it's all right. Where's the tape? Lay him down. Robert Browning. <laughs> yes. I will look into your eyes and you will recite Browning. And the pain will 
not find me. Hold him still. Don't let him move an inch. Oh, to be in England. <clears throat> now that April's here. And whoever wakes in England sees some morning unaware. Senora, where are your friends? They're in the cantina. Tráquemelos. Sí, señor. What's wrong? Es esta. Sí. Esta es claridad. Do you know where he is now? Bullet out of him. A bullet I put there. Hey, take it easy. To give aid, money, or food to such men as him is punishable by death. Look, if that's what you're charging us with, you should let them go. They didn't do anything. I'm the one who treated him. Las pistolas. We found the bodies of four men where you were camped. They were there when we rode in. We, we buried them. It's the only decent thing to do. They were shot with the kind of rifles you carry. You're under arrest for murder. Look, the truth is that they tried to rob us. It was self-defense. Oh, I see. And you, sir? How do you plead? Not guilty. Just defending ourselves. <coughs> guilty! <sighs> Ito. How do you plead? <laughs> Escondanse rápido, rápido, ahí vienen los soldados. Will it take? Los van a llevar a una prisión mexicana llamada El Hoyo de la Rata. Los van a fusilar en la mañana. Váyanse. Where they go? She said they take them to Mexican prison called the Rat Hole. Be executed in the morning.
get Katie, and I'll meet you outside the prison. All right, there's a mine in check. We pass coming here. There may be something there to help us. If I don't make it back. Then come down, I'll do what I can. Apaches attack. We made a run for it. But the wagon's overturned. My daughter was killed. I was injured. Your child and my wife were traveling in the second wagon. I joined them and we escaped. When I was well enough to return to retrieve her body, it was gone. We buried your daughter in Colorado Springs. That's a terrible thing to lose a child. I nearly went mad with grief. Oh, I know. Please, Mr. Caraway. Nobody else has to get hurt here. Just let me and my daughter go. Please. I'm sorry I can't do that. I, I would have returned her to you once you changed your boat. But after the death of my daughter, having her here has eased my pain. Why didn't you ever try to contact me? Oh, I was going to. But then... I heard... that you were looking for me. Is a copper mine worth so many lives? I needed that deal to finance my investments here in Mexico. This is where the real fortunes are being made. Could have been a rich man, Mr. Sully. People will come looking for us. You know that, don't you? Well, by then, my wife and daughter and I will be in Europe. 
Your friends will find that your party was killed by revolutionaries. Well, they'll be shown your graves. And then, after a few months, a new man in your job will vote for us. As you should have. Can I see my daughter? I'd like to say goodbye to her, please. Ah, that would only upset her. <laughs> but don't worry. We'll raise her as our own. She'll never be your daughter. She's my daughter! She's my blood! Wash my hands. I need to turn the baby. Do you understand? Turn. Comprendo? The cord's around its neck. No. Don't push the baby. Don't push. It's coming. Push, push. That's great. Keep pushing. Push. Push. You're doing great. Push. 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 Please let me see my daughter. Ernesto! Please. I will take you to her. Why are you doing this? She cried all night long for you. And for her mother. I know how the heart breaks. I feel your sorrow. How could I keep your child another moment? Come, we must hurry. Katie. Poppy, let's go home. You must hurry. Don't forget this. <laughs> Take my shawl. We'll keep her warm. Thank you. Thank you very much. Go. And God be with you. Bye. Now, you only got five seconds after you light it. All right. Can we trust this lady? We have to. This is for you. If we don't return, I want you to take my daughter to El Paso. Send this telegram to Colorado Springs. 
people there that'll come for. Si, senor. I want you to stay here with this nice lady, all right, Katie? Don't go. Please don't. I have to. Your mommy's waiting for me. I'm going to go get her. I'll go with you. You can't. I'll come back, all right? No, Poppy. Please. I need you to be brave for us right now. You come back? Promise? I promise. We best get going, Sally. I love you. That doesn't seem so bad about now. What are they gonna do to us? I got a feeling it's the horses that'll be doing it. Having been found guilty of aiding the enemies of the state, you have been sentenced to death by firing squad. Yeah! Ha! 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 
Gracias. Sí, mamá. So much. Adios. I knew you'd come find me. To the ends of the earth. I love you so much. I love you. I love you, Ma. I love you, Poppy. I love you too, honey. Dolly, we better get moving. We got company. Soldiers. to go home. Spirits told us to come back. Well, see, Doctora. They found me. Asked for help. Thank you so much. No, no. It is I who are in your debt. You must hurry now. You'll make it safely to the border. You're a very lucky man. God be with you. ¡A los caballos! Thousands of rats in this place with the little salsa. They weren't there. And hundreds more outside wearing uniforms. <laughs> that story's just gonna get bigger and bigger. And pretty soon they'll be taking on the whole Mexican army. <laughs> you seen your mom? Yeah. She said she had something to take care of. Took off towards the church. Do that. Come on, Kate. Telling this little girl that she'd be going home to her mother and father. How could anyone survive? 
try something like that. I'm not doing it alone. I said such terrible things to you. I knew it wasn't me talking. It was just the hurt needing to get out. Can you ever forgive me? If you can forgive me. I'm blessed. We are blessed. With the most wonderful friends. Whose love and courage have given me the best birthday present I could ever have. My family back together again. Thank you, Brian. You've become a man. I'm so proud of you. How many dances have you saved for me? All of them. Ha, ha, ha.